I would say that Whitehead's approach to religion appeals to people of a philosophic temper uh, who have uh, also aesthetic, um, are, are aesthetically as opposed to conceptually or ethically driven, which is to say those who, who are philosophical but they're philosophical because they feel <laughs> philosophical, not just because they find themselves in, position, in possession of the conceptual tools that enable them to do philosophy well. So I think that Whitehead, as therapeia for uh, a certain kind of, uh, uh, of intellectual, um, a philosophical kind of intellectual who has religious feelings, as therapy for that kind of person, Whitehead is unmatched. And the beauty of his language is the kind of thing that communicates, because it isn't always just the language, it's also the way he sees the concepts uh, with, with, such, with such feeling. Also his ability to express the appropriate horror at the history of religious misdoing uh, is, is important. So there's a, there is a kind of person uh, I would say, uh, in contrast, there, 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 there are two kinds of sort of religious intellectuals of feeling. There's the C.S. Lewis kind, and then there's the Alfred North Whitehead kind. And the interesting thing is they never like one another, um, because the C.S. Lewis kind, their form of feeling is ethical in character, whereas the Whitehead kind, it's aesthetic in character. And so um, uh, if I'm not saying that the Lewis people don't love art, and I'm not saying that the Whitehead people are not ethical, but what I am saying is that the form that that feeling takes, it's never guilt in Whitehead, and it always is in C.S. Lewis. It's what ought I to be doing uh, uh, that I'm not doing. How could I, you know, how could I serve humanity or God or even myself better? That's the ethical question that the kind of people who like C.S. Lewis uh, will, <laughs> will ask. This doesn't occur to Whitehead. Uh, it's, it's, it's much more private, and it doesn't necessarily lead to action in the world. It has, it's a meditative approach to, uh, uh, to understanding the religious meaning of our lives.